Hello, welcome to the Cloudbix YouTube channel. My name is Manoj and today we will discuss how to enable email forwarding in Office 365 user accounts. So, in this video we will use distribution list and contacts to forward incoming emails to multiple email addresses, either internal or external. Open office.com in any internet browser and sign in using admin login credentials. Now click on admin from the apps panel to go into the admin center. First we will need to create a distribution list. See the steps on the screen to learn how to create distribution list. Click on teams and groups and select active teams and groups from the drop down menu. Now click on add a group for further steps. A new window will open asking group details. In choose a group type select distribution as we need to create a distribution list and then click next. Now enter group name and description and click next to proceed further. Now you will need to assign owners for group. You can select more than one owner for the distribution list. Click on the assign owners and select owners from the list and click on the add button. You can see the assigned owners on the screen. Click next to move further. Now you will need to add members in the group. Add those members whom you want to forward your incoming emails. Click on the add members. Select members from the list and click on the add button. It will add the members in the distribution list and you can see the added members on the screen. Now click next for further steps. Now you will need to assign group email address. Type any name in the group email address and click next. A review screen will open. Review group details and click on create group. This will create the group. Now you can see a distribution list group created window. Your distribution list has been created successfully. Click on the close button. You can see your distribution list in the distribution list tab. Now you will need to add contacts to add external members in the distribution list. Now in the left sidebar, click on the users and select contacts from the drop down menu. A contact screen will open. Click on add a contact button to add contact. Type contact details like first name, last name, display name and email address and click on the add button. Now you can see screen showing contact added. Click on the close button. Your contact has been added and you can see added contact in the contacts window. You can create as many contacts as you need to forward your incoming emails. Now you have to add these contacts in the distribution list to forward your emails to these contacts also. Click on teams and groups and select active teams and groups from the drop down menu. Now select distribution list and open the distribution list you created earlier. A distribution list window will open on the right side. Click on the members tab and then click on view wall and manage members. Now click on the add members button. Now you can see the contact you have added in the list. Choose the member and click on the add button. Once you have added all the members in the distribution list, you need to set up email forwarding to the distribution list email address. See the steps on the screen to learn how to do this. Now click on the users and select active users from the left sidebar. You can see all the active users mailbox in the list. Now choose the user account in which you want to enable email forwarding. User account details will open on the right side. Click on the mail tab and select manage email forwarding. Now manage email forwarding window will open. Click on forward all emails sent to this mailbox. Now enter the distribution list email address in the forwarding email address and click on save changes. 
If you need to forward your emails to single person, then you can add email address of that person only. A distribution list is only required when you want to forward your emails to multiple email addresses. Now you can see mailbox email forwarding info updated. From now all your incoming emails will forward automatically to the members in the distribution list. With these steps you can successfully forward your emails to multiple or single email addresses. If you have any queries then you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching the complete video. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Also follow us on other social media platforms. Social media links are in the description.